What's up, Scopesy Squad? Welcome back to another video, and I hope you guys had an amazing holiday. As many of you know, if you are trying to grow on Twitch, one of the most important things for you to do is not only to stream, but to put out content on multiple platforms, hence being called a content creator. TikTok is one of the most important tools in your content creation toolbox due to its insane discoverability and the possibility for virality with almost any video. Today I'm going to show you how to easily edit your Twitch clips and turn them into way more professional looking videos, which will get you a bunch more interactions on the page, maybe even bring some viewers towards your stream. Let's get right into it. Now I hate watching tutorial videos that just start halfway and you're left wondering, well, where do I actually begin the process or where do I finish it? So I'm going to show you guys literally the start to finish process of what I do to get my clips from Twitch onto TikTok. The first thing that we do is we go over to your creator dashboard on Twitch. Scroll down to clips right here under content and then choose the clip that you want to download. All you have to do is click on the clip you want, click share, and then click the download button right here. The next thing you do is you open up your favorite editor. Now. For me, Wondershare Filmora is extremely easy to use, it has a great user interface, and there's a bunch of really cool tutorials out there on how to use it, how to make certain effects. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to import, go to media files, go to downloads, and there you go. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to change the project dimensions to the dimensions that are shown on a TikTok. So you go up to here to files, you go to project settings, and then where it says 16 by 9 widescreen, you click the drop down menu and go to custom. TikTok's resolution is 576 by 1024. And frames you can keep at 60. Some videos will do better if it's only on 30 frames, but I would go with whatever the video is naturally. Click OK. And now you're going to drag your clip onto the timeline. Now, this is what a normal clip on TikTok would look like if you don't edit it the way that I'm about to show you. As you can see, there's a lot of dead space here. Some of the things are very small on the screen and it's hard to see. And it generally just doesn't make for a very exciting video. So I'm going to show you how to take this and turn it into this. One thing to keep in mind for the duration of this video is that this little preview right here is actually being shown in half quality. I could put it up to full quality so that you guys could see the full image, but that would take a huge load on the PC as I'm recording at the same time. Now that we have the proper project settings, we're going to copy our clip, paste it to the side, and then drag it over on top. Now because you don't want both audios playing at the same time, you're going to select your top clip, right click it, and mute it. The next thing we're going to do is right click on it, go to crop and zoom, go down to ratio, and put it on custom ratio so that you can drag it around to fit your webcam because not all webcams are on a 16 by 9 ratio. So now we're going to drag it over here. Just make sure the edges line up nice and good. Go right there, click OK. And now, if we go over here, you can see what the webcam looks like. I'm going to click on that, and we're going to drag it up to the very top. And we're going to select this clip, the bottom clip, and drag it down so that it matches with the bottom of the clip right there. The next thing we're going to do is go over to, into effects right here and select the basic blur. Now you'll have to search for it. I already have it favorited, but it's just in the included right here. So it's favorited. We're going to drag it over on top of both of the clips and then we're going to drag it over just like this. Now this is how you get the blur effect in the background of most TikTok clips. Now I'm seeing here in the preview that we could clean up this crop just a little bit more. I'm going to go back in, right click, crop and zoom. And we're going to just drag that in a tiny bit, like so. Just drag it right to the edges. It's OK if we cut out a little bit, too. All right. Now, because we have the webcam up here, the next thing that I do is enlarge this clip, the action clip, so that it takes up a larger portion of the screen and also eliminates the webcam. All I'm going to do is drag down on the right until that webcam is out of the picture. And now you can see it's a fuller image right here. It takes up more of the TikTok space. Now, the reason why I don't really care about this bottom section is this is where the text goes. So your caption and your hashtags, that will all go right here. And it's better not to have anything there in the first place. Now, 
You could leave this black if you wanted to, but I personally like the blur feature as it does move with the clip and it changes colors with the clip as you can see here. So now that I have this set up, this is gonna be what the final clip looks like. Actually, I'm gonna tune this up just a little bit, clean up the edges, make it look nice. Now that I have this in place, you can go through and start trimming. So if there's dead spots, then you can trim them just like this, trim both sides. And what I do to trim all three parts at the same time so that it lines up is just drag a select tool up like that. Now I don't actually need to delete that part, so we're gonna keep it in for now. No way, somebody clipped that, bro. So we finished the end of the reaction right there. We can cut all this off, just select it, and delete it, and there we go. And the rest of the editing for the TikTok, the caption and everything like that, that happens on the app itself. So we are actually done with Wondershare Filmora for now. We're gonna go to export and select wherever you want it. Now I have a folder on my PC for TikToks that makes everything, it keeps everything in one place. There we go, select TikToks and export. And the last thing we're gonna do guys is upload it to your drive and then you can put it on your phone and upload it to TikTok. And that's all guys, that's how you edit your Twitch clips for TikTok. If you guys have any more questions or if you want more videos like this, be sure to leave a comment down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. After the Christmas break, I am now back to uploading every single day. Let's get it. Thank you guys so much for your support. Hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's.